Hey, this is CG1, and thank you very much for joining me once again. The other day I was talking to a friend, and he was sharing with me about a new business idea that he had, and he was contemplating on starting, but he said, but Joe, like, I don't know if it's worth starting this, because like, I remember starting an old one, and one of my first businesses, and it didn't work out. And it was really difficult because was, I invested so much time and so much money into it and it just didn't work out. And do you know what, that was difficult because I looked right at him and I was like, man, I know exactly how that felt. Because I know that when it didn't work out for me when I started previous businesses. But what I want to tell you is it did not stop me from starting new ones. See, this is the difficulty in life that we have. That the mind plays such tricks as it almost assumes itself like a person in itself that is whispering in our ears that, man, can you do it? Remember when you started that project? Remember when you started that business and it didn't go well? Remember you made that mistake? It reminds you of all the times that you you tried, you tried, and you kept on trying, but it didn't work out. Whatever it is, and it discourages you from starting new things because you realize that, are you any good? Can you do it? And this is the difficulty, because you go through life and you realize that, there is a track record of things that have failed. Past failures can be your greatest enemy to future success. See, you can't avoid having a track record of things not going right. Whether it's in business, whether it's in relationships, whatever it's in, whether it's in your career, Maybe it was a job that you were in and it didn't end well. Maybe you were made redundant and now you're in the process of starting a new job or you're in a new job and your mind recollects of the times when things went wrong. And then it almost seems that you're being arts. The questions are coming in that are you good enough? Remember when things didn't go well and it's actually quite funny because I go through this so much times and every single time I wanna, I think things are going well, literally I, I'm taking steps forward, maybe two steps forward and at the same time or just straight after, it seems like I've taken five steps backwards, eight steps backwards and it's really annoying because it can feel like failure is a habit it can feel like things not going well. It's just only a matter of time. But don't let it discourage you. In fact, I'll go as far and say that if you are not going through difficult times, if you're not going through the seasons of challenges and difficulties, when f certain things are going right, but a whole lot more is not going right, then you have to start questioning whether you're on the right road. Because you can be on the road of wanting to make a difference. That all of people, all of history's greats, whether it's a Nelson Mandela or Mother Teresa or whoever, or Bill Gates or whoever had to go through the difficulties. The challenges that you go through because you want to go and make a difference. And it might seem like, oh, Joe, then what's the point if you're going to go through all of these difficulties? But the point is, and this is what I really want to press down, this is by far my most important call, that greatness and the true spirit of greatness resides in knowing that it's not about 
how much adversity or setbacks you face but it's the ability to overcome every setback and every adversity that's the true reflection of greatness this is CG1 and you have the seed of greatness